Evil Kalebeck here from StartingStrongMan.com. Wild. This is a crazy World's Strongest Man. I keep saying that. This is uh, my update going into the last event. The Atlas Stones. We we thought yesterday Tom Stoltman was just going to run away with this. He had a five and a half point lead after day one. Massive lead over Brian Shaw and Luke Stoltman, his brother. And that's not been the case. Uh, first event was the log lift for Max. And, we, you know, Adam Bishop went out at 170, and then it went up to 185. And, and uh, you know, uh, I, yeah, Adam Bishop got 170, then it went up to 185. Everyone hit 185. Then it goes to 195. The only people to miss are Tom Stoltman and Ithor uh, Melstead. So Tom, on the log, only gets two and a half points. That's big. That's not a lot of points. That's, you know, basically last almost. Um, then they do another jump from 190, you know, then everyone else hit 195. They go to 205. That's a pretty big jump. Uh, thought they'd maybe go 200, but they're doing, you know, 22 pound jumps. And it's what I predicted. There'll be a big log jam, and whoever would be able to get above that weight that everyone else got stuck at, they're going to pick up big points on that person. And that's what happened. At 195, you know, everyone um, was successful. Then they go up to 205. Brian Shaw can't get 205. Constantine Janashia can't get 205. Jeff Caron can't get to, uh, 205. So they all, one, two, three split points they get five points a piece then everyone in the next jump which is 205 that got it were bobby thompson trey mitchell maxime boudreau and luke stoltman and then uh and then only luke was successful at 215 huge points 10 big points for luke comes back that helps him get right back up there just a point off of shaw i believe um, going into uh, that, you know, the deadlift. And, you know, Maxime and Trey and Bobby that all got 205, they gained three points off of the people that got 195. So that next jump was worth three points on four other people, three other people. Um, you know, Brian Shaw picked up two and a half points on Tom, which was big. And then, you know, Luke, he picked up five points on everyone like Shaw that got to 195. So crazy results and it shows in these max events how how much more the points can swing. You know, cuz there's so many more ties even in rep events where the timed event you, you never get a the same time. Whew, wild. So then on to the deadlift. We have Ithor Melstet goes out gets 7 reps. Um Adam Bishop gets 10 predicted him to uh, be up there in this event. Bobby Thompson, nine. He collapsed. He also collapsed on the log. Uh, so, you know, I think he's just feeling it a little bit. He went he's went for it, and it's hot out there, and he's a big man. Um, but he's giving it his all. JF Caron. Somehow JF can still pull 10 reps with a torn hamstring. Dude's unreal. Um, Konstantin Janashia gets eight. Um, Tom Stoltman also gets 8. Brian Shaw gets 9. Heard that he almost uh, got 10. Trey Mitchell comes out and gets uh, 10, 10 reps. Huge. Also joint first place. Whew. Wild, wild uh, results. Um, yeah, so we have at time, we have 10 reps for Trey Mitchell uh, J.F. Caron and Adam Bishop, they all pick up nine points apiece. Mainly big points uh, for Trey, who he's done really well in some events. And then, like, very, you know, he's got eighth in the Giants medley, um, last in the keg toss. Then the Titans turntable, he gets second. Then the, the max log, he ties for second. Then the deadlift, he ties for first. Man, <laughs> so if, you know Trey works on his grip, and you know his his you know weight weight over bar. He's looking like a a, a monster out there. So 
Then the last group to go is Maxime Boudreaux and Luke Stoltman. Both the deadlifts probably their weaker events. Maxime gets three reps for last place. Um, Luke gets six reps for ninth. And that really mixes things up. So Brian Shaw gains another two points on Tom Stoltman to after um, four events. Sorry, this is just really exciting. Um, going into the last event, we have Tom Stoltman with 35.5, Brian Shaw with 34.5, Luke Stoltman with 29, tied with Luke for third place, Trey Mitchell 29. Um, then it's like a big log jam from fifth and seventh. We have tied for fifth, Maxime Boudreau and Constantine Janashia. J.F. Caron at 27, then Bobby Thompson 23.5, Adam Bishop 23, and Ithor 18. So, it's going to come down to Stones, Brian Shaw versus Tom Stoltman. This is, this is what I said was going to happen in my finals prediction video. I said that Brian would pick up a couple points on Tom, and it would come down to the Stones. So Brian needs to place two places above uh, Tom. Actually, he needs to at least tie him. He needs to place at least... So yeah, he just needs to beat Tom and Stones because the Stones, the last event, is the tiebreaker. And then Brian would win his fifth title. So, can anyone beat Tom and Stones? I don't think so. I think Tom will do this. But it's a sport. Mistakes can happen. Brian can show out. Like I said before, there's been some back and forth on who the King of the Stones is. I wholeheartedly believe that Tom is the best stone lifter to ever live better than anyone else ever has been. Brian Sean is prime, etc. You know, the new Tom is the best. But hey, um, you know, just based on past performances and uh, what we think is going to happen isn't how sports work. People have to show out and perform, and Brian is capable. I mean, what a better way to win his fifth title, or what a better way for Tom to solidify himself as the King of the Stones than beating... Brian Shaw, who held the, the you know, so many Stone World records forever until Tom came and beat them. It's exciting. Luke and Trey going at each other. That's going to be a tough one. Luke's looked very improved on Stones, but Trey's a monster. It just depends on if he's fast enough. And I, I think the advantage here goes to Trey. He doesn't really ha use rely on Tacky very much. It's hot out there. It's only going to get hotter. Um... You know, the stones are supposed to start at about 3 p.m., which is probably about the heat of the day. Who thought of that? Should have started them at night, except it's not really cooling off in Sacramento. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to have to give the edge in that matchup, and whoever wins that between, you know, places higher between those two will get third. And I think Trey's just going to kick Luke right off the podium. Whew. Maxime, great at stones. Uh... It'd be the first time that someone from Canada has placed above J.F. Caron in a long time. Um, it looks like they'll end up having, you know, Maxime and Janashia go against each other. But I'd really love to see Caron and Boudreau and uh, Caron and uh, yeah Boudreau go against each other just for that. Like, is Maxime going to be the new, you know, best guy from Canada and beat nine times Canada's strongest man? But there's another part of me that goes fifth place. Is that's JF Caron all day? He's he's Mister Fifth Place. He's always right there. Then you know everything else. It's just kind of up in the air. Who's going to bring it? It's wild times. Tell me what you think's going to happen in the comments below, and let's uh, keep refreshing that spreadsheet. Follow me at Let Kale Lift on Twitter, and thanks for my new Patreon pledges. Patreon.com/slash Starting Strongman uh, to help support what I do.